Hello there, Internet Version 2 here with Let's Play Dangan Romper. Another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Today is the way we live, Chapter 4. Hopefully, with less rape apology in it. I was about to say, hopefully, I is a fucking concern Please, to begin with. Just leave this city. Why are you so. Where, where did this come keen from? Keen on us fucking off. Oh no! Someone got busted. Oh, I knew this would happen. To the sir, wait. Nagito's what? Not, no Monica. I was looking at all the new cat. In order for the new society of children to be calm and peaceful, I need to create paradise. Paradise. Everyone has high expectations of me. I cannot fail. So, instead of trying to overcome what could cause your failure, you want to just eliminate the possibility so entirely? Get out of our town! We have defeated three of the kids so far. No, none of the other adults have done any of that. Oh, Maru, don't be tricked. You don't have to actually accept that offer. No, <laughs> this is not an offer. It's an honest request. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Aww. Please, I'm begging you. You're, you're... Please leave. You know, we could just like finish but finish this chapter right now if I just left it at the screen for two minutes, because he'll clearly drown. Hey! Our, our shoes are gonna be so fucking soggy after that. Well, uh, it's gonna be disgusting. I wouldn't trust a kid, even if he's kneeling on the ground. Water. He's obviously tricking us. To be fair, it is difficult I to trust. I do not intend to them. trick you. I'm serious. Yes. Okay, that goes a big way towards convincing us. And now, you are free. That's a big part of it. That is a big. Wow. If you do this, you're gonna make Monica super sad! Yeah, I don't feel like you'd want to do that. I know that, but it has to be done. Monica has high expectations of me. I'm sure she'll understand. She totally won't, but okay. <laughs> I'll take you to the secret passageway. It's the only way to get out of town. Oh, that's, that, that's awfully convenient that one of I those I can guarantee exists. your safety until you reach it. The Monokumas won't attack with me here. Come on, let's go. Okay. Hey, hey! I told you to wait! What? Do you have another objection? Why? Why so Do sudden? I? Um. <laughs> <Take it. laughs> oh, oh, Maru, are you really okay with this? Huh? I. Of course she is. This is I what she wanted all this time. I don't speak on behalf of Minagasa. I, I wasn't talking to you. I'm asking Omaru. You know, if you're trying to really convince her, it would help to call her by her actual fucking name, Zerko. She wants to leave this town. Might help Why a little bit. Why are you bit. getting in her way? You're on the same side, right? Then you should respect her feelings. Her feelings? <laughs> Think of it. Shut up! You have no right to say that. Given that, yeah, all you've done. It's going to be all right. I will personally guide you to the secret passageway. No need to worry. This still seems. Let's go. Nagisa! I I notice how Kamara hasn't sp explicitly said yes. Don't I agree. follow us. But you don't want Monica to hate you, do you? Jeez. And you're just gonna, yep. So, Kamara's still going, but she hasn't said yes. You, 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 yeah, we'll just leave you alone. You can just be there, I guess. <laughs> the kids aren't gonna come behind you and try and kill you again, are they? No? Okay. Let's go. The secret passageway is this way. Alright, let's go, I guess. This way. Alright, now which 
Okay, it's L. <laughs> At the beginning of every new session, I have to find out what I have to do. All right. No. Like that. How does a normal kid run? <laughs> uh, anything at this dead body here? No. Okay. Anything down here? No. Okay. Anything over? Well, I mean, there's that. So hey. Hi, shinies. No, you so can you wait a minute? I gotta uncover your friend here. <laughs> Masaru Diamond. What's up? And nothing up there. I did see something over at this truck though. Where has Nagisa gone? Oh, hi, safe point. Right at the beginning. When we were prompted to say between chapters. Bit strange. All good though. No, pff, invisible walls. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's good. The um, about the children night. There's only one thing I could tell for sure about I was taking the um, the night shift as look at. The children are all wearing those idiotic helmets. None of them look like they're sleeping, and I've never seen them eat either. Are they really human children? Isn't it possible that they're just mechanical, mechanical dolls like Monokumas? Well, regardless, whether they're humans or robots, they're devils in our eyes. The only difference is what liquid they bleed when we run them over. Jeez. Like, if there's one thing that this is doing a lot is making the um, adults as violent and hate driven as the kids <laughs> like like the adults haven't turned around to this and gone wow murder's wrong their response is wow we should murder those people who are murdering us you might notice this as almost every single war that has ever existed in humankind <laughs> oh we're getting deep now aren't we oof, oof. I just finished my first class in my philosophy and um, uni so um, I know everything <laughs> I'm being a bit I'm sorry. Follow me closely. Philosophy university degrees do have a legitimate purpose. Some people have studied them. I'm, <laughs> that's, I'm a dick. I'm a dick. They do not have cloaking technology now. They do not have cloaking technology. They do not. No, I don't want to find invisible enemies. Hey Nagisa, someone probably knows that you're helping us, so they've Hold on. betrayed you. Why are you attacking me? Someone found out. <laughs> oh! Yeah, when the tables are turned, you freak them right the fuck out immediately, don't you? Yeah, you immediately freak out when the tables have turned, don't you? Yeah. Fucking little What's going on? Should Why I even help him? by the Monokumas? <laughs> I don't know either. Oh, hey. Stop it. You are all Monokuma. Yes. Hi. Get fucked in the eyeball. These ones don't seem to want to dance that much. Hi. Hello. There you go. And pick up, pick up, pick up. Alright. Next wave. Any sirens? Uh. There's a right over here. Damn. Everyone come over to the dancing one. Yeah. Louie, you all here. Oh, oh geez, that's close. As intended. As intended. And... There we go! Alright. Oh! Dancing one still? Everyone, come dance! I like how these, these ones aren't actually dancing with Zara, they're just kind of joining in and chilling, just going, what are you doing? Also, random question, does, um, these monokumas weak point for hacking being their eye, like, fuck up the cannon, um, for other monokumas having, like, a glaring weak point, or is it the hacking gun being designed and the eye just happens to be the easiest way to access, because it's like, a glass panel as opposed to the rest of its fluffiness that they have. <laughs> just a curious question. I did that so easily. I mean, the game made it easy, because dancing I thought you stuff. said the monokumas wouldn't attack us if you were here. Yeah, well, someone fucked up. This is... strange. What in the world is this? People finding out that you're betraying hey. people. You weren't lying when you said you wouldn't trick us, right? Of course. If I wanted to deceive you, I would not have removed your wristband. That, that's what I was thinking. Then... 
They must have found out you betrayed them. Yeah, pretty quickly. And pretty Betrayal? Easily. Me? This is but this is but how do you not think this is betrayal? No, that's wrong. I'm no traitor. It's pretty hard to not see it as I that from their perspective. The warriors clearly. of hope. I care about making paradise more than anybody. The reason I'm letting you guys go is because I care so much. <laughs> I don't feel like it appears your that allies way. aren't taking it that way. <laughs> I'm sure she'd understand if I explained it to her properly. Monica has such high expectations. Well, maybe you should have actually explained it. Yeah. Keep on saying that, Mr. Genius Grade Schooler. <laughs> uh, I guess so you done fucked up. Like a lot. So, oh, we came from that way. Alright. Let's just. Go. No items or any. Oh, I didn't even see all these move Bodies things. everywhere. I'm getting sick of this. Yeah, there's a lot. Like a fucked up amount. Like, see how she still doesn't seem calm right now? Yeah, hmm. it's because of that. The secret passageway so, is this way. Well, then what's over this way? Huh? 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 What's this bottomless pit doing in the middle of the city then? Huh? No items here. Hey, I'm just, I'm just paranoid. All right, I gotta check all the. <laughs> Man, I'm low on ammo. Give me some. Thank you. Perfect timing. Nothing behind the truck. Oh, no. Another one of these goes. <laughs> Rah! <laughs> Hello. And, okay, so this is a. This, so I'm we're a essentially. Hope. I'm your master! They don't say it that way. Oh, right. I guess it does go that way. Right. Bam level ups, yeah. Oh! Now you're jumping down? Hello! Oh! Okay. Make me waste my nice, nice shot. Fuck you. Ah, good. good timing on when you jump down, dumbass. Alright, wait, hi. Hi up there, up. Oh. Yeah, okay, first this. Boom, got ya. You jump down now, hi. Yup, okay, you jump down. Oh, come on, oh, you could've. There you go. Oh, I could've had a really nice combo going on there. Noticing these ones aren't giving um, drops when I get the nice shots on them, still. And just line up for the slaughter. Oh, they've got two going at once now. Oh, okay, that's actually not too great. There we go. Yeah, most of this problem is solving itself. <laughs> All right, who's jumping down? You first. First in the middle. There you go. Hi. Right. Oh shit! Damn! Take care of them for me. There we go! Oh, didn't reach over to this one though. Bam! Fuck you! There's a lot of them here. Jeez, come on! Come on! Come on. There we go, hi! Bam. Now, will you take care of this issue for me? Uh, I think, yep, that will take care of everything for me. Oh, look at Nagisa. Oh, it didn't take it long once then. Sorry. Didn't take it once at the end. Uh, aiming super hard. There we go. Boom. There we go. Once again, it mostly, mostly solved itself. Wow. Take my sip. There, that was, okay. As I said, I got mission. Um, there's things here. Fuck, fuck wherever Nagus is gone. Hey, where are you going? The secret passage. But the Moo Moo. So he says. 
But the Moo Moo Alleyway. But Moo Moo Alleyway. Like I'm, you're not gonna let me go. Okay, you'll let me go here at least, so. Gotta get the items. Gotta get all the items. See, there's an item over there, see? Wah, see, wah. I don't know why to, that's... No one can explain why. Or all, all of my weird, weirdities. The Conductors, 48 hours. Um, Odoriki Anaka, fa famous as the genius conductor, is regarded by the world as a perfect, talented, extraordinary, and beautiful. However, she has a secret that she keeps from them all. The pinnacle of lyrical sexual prose, a fluttering melody of suffering and sadism. What's the... What's the secret? That she fucks pretty well? Like, what's the... I can't... So... vulgar. <laughs> Re really? Uh, you, uh, I guess it says, even with the SM bits, it's beneath me, because she's in, super into that. Just some slowly written wish fulfillment fanfiction garbage. Ah, oh, so that Fifty Shades? <laughs> Fifty Shades is not SNM, it's abuse. <laughs> it's not going that bad. It's definitely going to be that bad, I can feel the lack of talent from here. 48 hours? Um, There's a TV show that's like that. Olden writing wrote he says it, I'm sure it's true. Uh, <laughs> t t you're a masochist and a sadist. You're both, like... You are both. Like, because her fantasy is about, like, Toko get- I mean, it's not Toko, Byaki again with. Like, she is both. She's just one a lot more than the other. I don't even get this published. They must really be get desperate to get this out. Which reminds me. True masochist. Have you ever had <laughs> ever had that kind of experience? <laughs> that. Oh, fuck off. What am I saying? Fuck off to them being good and decent, or am I saying fuck off to her never having done them? I'll let I'll let you figure that one hmm? out. <laughs> How do you know you're a masochist if you've never done that stuff before? Here's someone who clearly doesn't understand it. <laughs> it. It is... It's very different, so... <laughs> I'm being stepped on tired of suspended by my master in my head. And just... <laughs> uh, I was really tired up and suspended. Could it be? By Piakia? <laughs> no, unfortunately no. not. Third grade, that's pretty. yeah. That. So cruel. That's You're pretty right. mean. Sure, no, not at all. <sighs> not at all. <laughs> just a little. Just, 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 just a little. I don't have any stories like that. I don't have a quote unquote formative experience, but I mean. I'll let you draw your own conclusions that are blatantly obvious and really should be obvious for my personality to begin with, anyway, but. at some point. <laughs> Find it strange that, like, Kamaru is somewhat naive when it comes to sex, but s &M, she understands how it hap- like, um, how it can happen. Not always, but she understands this how way. it can happen. Uh. You're seriously trusting a guy like that? I'm sure he's planning to betray you. You... You think so? Boys with the stutters. Alright, so we can clearly go there later, because clearly this plan will not work. Like... If, at this point, they already know that he's betraying them, then I wouldn't be shocked if we're going to get to a point where... Oh, the secret passageway is blocked off, because it was pretty clear where you were going. So, fucking whoops on that one. Let me just quickly double-check the map while we're here. Wow, there's a lot of ins and outs. Okay, um... Wow. Clearly, you can tell that, um... This alleyway that we're going through here is going to be important later because, like, the cow alleyway. Because look at all the shit that's over this side that is all cow alleyway. Breaking through there, breaking through there, and some shit up there. <laughs> cow alleyway will be returned to. That is the important thing. Go. I'll fly over. Ta-da! 
Another one? What's up? Hello. Hi. Don't come near me. Oh Jesus. Okay. Um Well, this is not super great situation. Hi. Man, we How do I get them to face that? Oh, I guess I have paralyzed. I can paralyze them up this way, so... Or you can just be gassing it from this and it won't work at all. Or oh, paralyze them, kill them in one shot. Wow, holy shit, okay. So, hi. And boom, damn it. It's difficult to get around these guys when you're not sneaking up behind them. Fuck. Stop it! Get away! Get away! Oh, fuck. fuck you. Paralyze! Oh, paralyze! There we go! It is killing them eventually. Knock back to everyone! Fuck you! Bye bye! Bye bye! Paralyze! Fuck all of you! Paralyzer! 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 Alright, uh, well, you two are being a little shit. Oh, getting some nice shit. Get some money. Oh, what the fuck? Ew! Is that what that is? Yeah. Alright, well I'm not getting money from these people, so fuck you. Paralyzer, paralyzer. Para- oh, you, you, you died from it. Paralyzer. Bam, okay. Knock back, knock back. I love how much paralyzer I have. I feel like you're not meant to be able to do this. Alright. Ah, fuck you. Paralyzer. Paralyzer! Paralyzer! Uh, no. The Paralyzer! Yes, it does a lot more damage if they're in water. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I got myself with that one. Alright. Note yourself, be careful with the Paralyzer. How many of you are there? Holy shit. Fuck oh, off. Like, I'm guessing I'm meant to be, like, just rolling them into all of them in the truck, but I'm having difficulty doing that. Do I have to do that at least once? There's a lot of you. Oh my god, there's so many of you. Fuck off. I didn't do much. Oh yeah, they're firing cup noodles at me! Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off. Ah, oh, this is not working out well for me. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Hi, fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, cool. Just what we needed. Well, they haven't started attacking me yet, so... Let me just do this from over here. Oh, god damn it! Fuck off. Damn it. I was hoping I could get them to roll into them. Over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you might actually start attacking Kid at some stage. That might be a thing that actually happens, so... Get as much as we can to start with. Oh, hey, ammo! Thank you. Paralyze ammo? Well, not what I was after, but hey. Hi. Can I. Ah, fuck off. Stop doing that. 
Uh, you are really annoying me. Help me. Okay, I'll actually take care of you. Just stop it already! Stop having the big ball ones. They're bombs now too. No, nah, he's gone. <laughs> God damn it! What the fuck am I actually meant to do here? There's so, there's so many of them. Holy shit! It's wrong. Just wrong. Well, fuck. Make a greeting. Uh, not fair as well. Yeah, I'm. Uh, retry. Yeah, I know to knock them back, but they don't fucking stop moving. <laughs> I guess if I dance them from one side, I can do it. Don't come near me! Like, if I get them to face this way and then dance. Yeah. Ow. Ow! Fuck you! Awesomely fantastic. Fuck you! Hey, I got a bunch of them. Yeah. Dance, motherfucker! Yeah, I guess that works, yeah. Bam! Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you don't have to get behind him if you dance them, that's right. That was a kind of good look. And line up. Boom! Steer right! Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about this. Don't worry, I'm a fuck up. It's all good. It's all good. Up. Oh. Whoops. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Poptastic! Boom! That was not a great shot. <laughs> but it's all good. It's another one. Come on. I'll let you up here. There we go. That is a hard one to do. Get out of here. Oh. You are Monokuma! Okay, while you're dancing, I'm just gonna kill these ones at like this. Oh, fuck. But these ones aren't even- uh, okay, there we go. Kill them! Yeah! Alright. You are over to the side and you're making it hard for me to kill the others. Because not having one good one at a time. Yeah, gotcha! Got you, yeah. Yeah, you come here quickly. Well, oh! Help me! Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! There we go. Bye bye. Jesus, did you still not die from that? Fuck fuck's sake, die already. Holy shit, these things take up so many hits. Thank you. Christ. Alright. Bam, yeah. Bye. And just land the shot. Hey, fucking don't put cup noodles on my head. I get it, it's a, cool, it's a cute reference to the first game. Don't do it. Fuck off. Fuck off. Uh -huh. <laughs> the shock took over there. Does that count as a stun gun effect? Run! Ah! Oh. See, when I remember what the mechanics are, it's much easier. Hmm. I oh, know, well, we've already had one retry, so whoops. Ah, whoops. Okay, so... You ran up... Yeah, so you'll, you want me to go this way, so let's explore this way first. Assuming you'll let me. Um, so I think there was... Oh, yeah, it's the game room here, but... Are you gonna let me do this? Yeah, here he is. 
Hey, where are you going? Take your passages this way. So Fine, I'll go around to it later then. I'll do it like. Oh wow, I'm low on break ammo. I haven't run out yet, but it's gonna happen at some stage, and I'm just gonna be like, back. When do I get Let's that bullet go. that controls the them? Secret passageway so I've still is got two way. left. Jeez, just giant piles of bodies. Again. <laughs> oh, again. Ugh, oh, with the giant piles of dead bodies of adults. Ugh. Oh, this tired shit again. So, so cruel. Yeah. This is too cruel. This, yes. I don't look, but even if I don't see it, I can pretty much figure out what happened. You could probably smell it, honestly. You really don't feel anything seeing this? These people are demons, our enemies. But that's not what she asked. You said it before, right? It's because you're afraid of adults? Yeah, that's right. We can't help but be terrified around adults. Doesn't mean you have to kill them. If the adults just didn't exist, we could live peacefully. That's what I believe. Warren. Why are you so afraid of adults? Because all their parents were fucking awful. We warriors of hope were classmates in the Hope's Peak Elementary program. Yeah. We were in the classroom where they put all the troublemakers. <laughs> You lot being troublemakers? Never. But I resented being called a troublemaker. It makes it sound as if we ourselves were the cause of the trouble. But that's not right. Her troubles were created by adults. By her parents. Yeah, your parents were awful and because you're, you know, fucking kids, you'll act out and yeah. They say kids can't pick their parents. Well, we were the unluckiest ones of all. The unluckiest? I mean, like, un like, Toko, yeah. But, like, for the first two, like, they had pretty. Actually, no, probably Jada would probably go up there, forcing the kid to wear a mask all the time. Yeah. Uh, Masaru, like, <clears throat> what his parents did was, like, real fucked up, yes. Unluckiest, I wouldn't say that, just because that, like, mastery situation happens to a lot of kids in a very tragic real sense. So I don't know if unluckiest is necessarily something that applies My to him. My parents were, without exaggeration, the worst. Like, demons. Like, worse than Kotoko? Because that's a pretty fucking big claim. My parents raised me like they were leveling me up in some game. Fucking drug. They didn't treat me like a person. They probably even forgot I was their child. What are they doing? What the fuck are they doing? From morning till night, study, study, study. When I got sleepy, analeptics. Even if I faint, HP is fully restored with a handy IV in my arm. Three to four days straight. And if yes, I showed please. even the slightest resistance. They'd use items to neuter my spirit. And by I... doing so, as long as they steadily racked up XP, I'd level up to their expectations. And it wasn't just at home. I received the same expectations at school as well. What the fuck are they doing to you? My father was a teacher at our school. He was a researcher of children's talent. So you were like a guinea pig for him? He used his own son to research the growth of a child's talent. Is this why you all gone like everyone has such high expectations of me to create paradise? He wanted to see what the growth curve would be like if he pushed a child to the breaking point. Isn't that funny? I was the subject of such an amusing experiment. Depending on the specifics of it, that could be worse than Kotoko. It's not funny at all. Yeah. Like, we're talking, like, if, like, being kept up for three to four days straight, constantly pumped full of drugs, like, if this is, like, his entire life and it is, like, multiple days of work without sleep, drugs to, like, affect him, like, we're talking like 
Geneva Convention bans levels of torture on a literally 24-7 rate. But even with all that, I was still better off than the others. You saw Monica's legs, right? That was done to her by her family. What'd they do to her? Her father and older brother were jealous of her talent. And that's how she ended up like that. Like they beat the shit out of her and broke her legs? That's horrible. Because we had talent. Because we were superior. We were treated like we were in hell. Bunch of jealous parents of their kids. But during it all, we didn't hold a grudge against our parents. We accepted how we were treated. Because that's how society tells kids to be. Because we weren't aware that it was okay to hate our parents. <laughs> we trusted the common knowledge that kids must love their parents. So we didn't fight it. Instead, we bonded over our struggle. And those discussions led us to the same conclusion. This is not normal. We had to escape from the horrifying world that made us suffer. Oh, this conclusion. We were desperate to run away from our scary parents, scary adults, the whole scary world. And we thought there was only one way out. I am noticing the only person who doesn't have a sense of panic on their face here is Monica. <laughs> like everyone else's mouths are open and their eyes are like terrified, shaking somewhere, and Monica's are just kind of sad. But. That's when it happened. You met Junko? There was someone who taught there us to is. have courage. To fight back instead of running away. That was Big Sis Junko. Big Sis Junko told us how. If you don't want it, give it to me. She wanted the thing we were going to dispose of. Your lives? Our lives. Yeah. And so, Big Sis Junko abducted us. Abducted? <laughs> Our disappearance didn't make much news. This was around the time the incident was growing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Ever since then, the days have been so much fun. Five kids missing and a bunch of others? Yeah, that's not going to not gonna raise that many alarms. Big Sis Junko showered her possessions with love and affection. She gave us not only love, but a dream as well. To create a paradise for kids. The dream of creating a children's paradise. Where the children can live peacefully. Fucking... The amount of playing that Junko can do is like... Like, it's so freaking high. When people talk about um, Joker and Dark Minus, it's like, look at all these things he can play in place. And then you look at Junko and it's like, that's nothing. We also learned from Big Sis Junko, the beliefs required to build that dream. To kill every other. The belief that adults are demons. It was as if we saw the light. Thanks to her, we finally realized. Your parents are awful, and by the transit of property, somehow, all parents the are. The common knowledge we had known up until then were lies adults created for their own benefit. Ever. Children cannot defy their parents. Everyone must get along. Violence can never bring peace. <laughs> to destroy the world based on such lies, we decided to fight against the adults. What you're looking at right now is not peace. I'll just say that. Can refer to my whole every war in human remember, history idea. The first but... adult we defeated was a random person we didn't even know. That's like that's so not the. And again, Monica is the only one who doesn't have a level of freakout on her face. We learned that kids can kill adults if they wanted to, and we were encouraged. From there, we leveled ourselves up by killing demons. Big Sis Junko was so pleased. Just the idea of a child killing an adult is despair inducing. Yeah, a little. That's just insane. <laughs> just as I expected. You guys were just tools to her. She was using you. Yeah, that is 100% true. The way she took you in, it's no different than a cult. You bring in the weak people and attach them to your own dream. Uh, the revolution you're talking about? It's all just another piece of despair to her. She's completely guys, accurate here. She would know. deceived by Junko and Ashima. 
And what's wrong with that? <laughs> Did I not tell you that we are her possessions? Oh, so you don't e you know that? You just don't even care? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow, you are fully in we there. We would rather her wow, take advantage okay. of us than horrible adults. Wow, okay. Wait. Sounds like it's too late. Yeah, just a little. Like. Big Sis Junko gave us hope. That's the truth. Ah, turns out we've got some other people to also, that we also have to shove into the Neo World program. Because Jeez. of that hope... <laughs> We were able to defeat the demon boss. Demon boss? Demon boss? Our parents. Oh. I figured they would have been the next ones after that random person. You killed your parents? T to be fair. To be fair. <laughs> that was a special battle that can only be fought once. That made us level up even further. So you're talking about it in the same terms that your parents used on you. From there, Operation Children's Paradise began, and we started freeing other children. You killed By other doing children's so, parents. The advance of the Warriors of Hope seemed unstoppable, but just when things were going so well, Big Sis Junko died. Killed by some idiot. She killed herself, I will very much point this out. When she died? And we lost our guide. We didn't know what to do. She killed herself. But Monica didn't despair. I can't imagine that was told to them. <laughs> All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. <laughs> I love this twisted version of hope. At that moment, Monica looked just like Big Sis Junko in our eyes. I mean, she did have that portrait of Junko that was like in the middle of a fucking ritual altar Things or whatever Things that didn't matter vanished, and we felt ourselves rising up again. Come to think of it, that moment, that was the real beginning of the revolution. And this time around, I swore an oath. We, the survivors, will fulfill the dream and prove how amazing Big Sis Junko is. We would leave lies like education and love for family in the past, and create paradise. Education can be a good thing, just not the way you were taught. That is our hope. Almost my favorite. You guys, you really don't understand that you're doing something very wrong. I feel like they do and they just don't care, because it's their own right. Justice and evil. These are beliefs that adults have defined, are they not? I... Killing, like... I feel like it doesn't... Uh. First off, pure evil simply does not exist. In all evil, there is something good. In what sense? I mean, I agree with you, but what sense do you mean? And in the same way, justice always hurts someone. There is no pure justice either. That I would argue against, but... <laughs> Are we really gonna stand around waxing philosophical with some little brat? <laughs> I want to know why you guys chose Toa City. And not only that, how did you guys get that army of Monokumas? Yeah. The one well, who chose Junko. the city and prepared our Monokumas was Monica. Isn't she amazing? <laughs> she created them with her special magic. You know magic's not real, right? Magic? You know magic's Don't not real, right? Don't take any of this seriously. It's just some kid talking. Basically, Monica's the mastermind. And to save Master, I gotta deal with her. Sounds like the solution, yes. Monica is our princess. I will never allow that. H hey <laughs> Earlier, you said that there is no such thing as pure justice or evil. But even if that's true, a dream that requires you to hurt someone? I think it's wrong. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> After all this time, still saying something so naive. Naive as in don't hurt peop people? Like that- It seems as though we what? really don't have much in common. I was right to ask you to leave. So let's go already. <laughs> the secret passageway is right up ahead. That's the, um... You know the kids are turning on you, right? Like, you're still going on about all of this, about how you're gonna build your paradise and everything like that. As the kids are trying to murder you, right? 
Like, you say all this about how you're the leader and you're gonna, uh, fix everything at Children's Paradise and everything. Like, just after they all just tried to kill you, right? Like, like you're, you're aware of the, uh, somewhat level of irony here, right? No? No, you're not? Okay. Never mind. Just some kid, I guess. <laughs> uh... Well, we're getting into like full on story mode now because we're in the last two chapters, so we're I'm here. assuming this game has five like it's every other one. Shrine. Every other meaning. We should get going. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? I yeah. Byakuya? Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time, I've been trying to escape. And not just you. that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. They're probably not. Oh, they might. No, they, they might be in this town, given the the captives. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Well, Biakia. Uh, of course, I have to save Master Biakia. Yeah, that. Hey, what do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? Because you know what the world is like outside of our city. If I go, you'll be alone. Oh, that too. Toko, do you want me to stay? <laughs> you have no reason to worry about me. She's kind of invincible, I'm but capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Well, I wouldn't go that far. You're truly amazing, Toko. Aww. Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all this. How about for the threatening to kill me part? Involved? What do you mean? Oh yeah, and also what do you mean by that? N nothing you clearly Just mean something. Leave before he changes his mind. You clearly mean something. I mean, we did happen to just run into you randomly on top of a building that we were landing on, and then we just went from there, so I mean... I thought this place would be fine. I was confident that I would never be found, but <laughs> it's as if they knew where I was hiding from the beginning. A monokuma came and attacked me. I was just barely able to escape, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart limb from limb. They cut off her skin and her flesh was everywhere. But I just ran away. I'm done for. There's no place to hide, no place to run in the city. But enough time to write a note. Um... Kill all- yeah, all the adults? <laughs> we are well aware that we are killing innocents. <laughs> but... This is war. That, that's what I was fucking saying. When you're burning that enemy's country to the ground, do you stop to spare the good people? Well, you should. Otherwise, you're literally no different from the people you're fighting. Uh, <laughs> but, demon. It's hurt, fate. We were born and raised here. We were treated as if we weren't even human. Maybe a cruel twist of fate if we didn't fight um... back. For you to just do them what they've done to you. There's a middle ground. No. Clearly. Hey. Kill your parents, that's fair enough. And not kill everyone else, maybe? Maybe that? <laughs> Don't mess with me! <laughs> Drama Queen, they that's not going to be a good argument Don't to mess with me. To trust other <sighs> adults. <laughs> Our destiny was decided. No one can stop us. With all the children in this town, we will build an ideal paradise. Well, yeah. It's not just us, but also the Monokuma kids. All it's the children. Far too suspicious. Just haven't have murderous <laughs> intentions like you. I have nothing else. I think that's a, a, a new portrait for you. Pretty bothered if you want to brightly hear it's all big. Demon. That, yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah, okay. 
So like, what level of brainwashing did you do to all the other kids to convince them? Or is it just a matter of you killed their parents so they were just married and they stopped you? <laughs> uh, wh which is it? Which is it? Or did you just forcibly shove helmets on all of them and then they were just like, kinda had no choice? What did you do? You clearly did something. You clearly did something. It's clearly they don't all agree. Unless just this place is filled with bad parents. That is a possibility too. Alright, so with that, that's the end of this episode. Next episode, we'll hmm. climb some stairs. So until then, this is version 2, signing out.